Hello everyone, welcome to another book review video. In this video, I'm going to review a non-fiction book that is Quiet, The Power of Introverts in the World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Ken. This is a non-fiction psychology self-help book which talks about two major personality types that is introvert and extroverts. It shows how people are forced to be an extrovert because they think one can only become successful if they are an extrovert. Introverts are the people who prefer listening over speaking. They prefer working on their own. They are generally deep thinkers. In the book, the author talks about how people undervalues introvert and see that as a weakness. The book shows how people see introvert and how introvert sees themselves and the extrovert idol that world has that makes being an introvert as a negative. So this is what this book is about, how introverts should not be undervalued and both the personality types are important. As an introvert myself, I really enjoyed reading this book. This talks about psychology too, which is one of my favorite topics to read about. The book is about strength and weaknesses of introverts and how introverts should be seen. There's a huge misconception that people have that introverts are shy but in reality not all introverts are shy. Introverts just don't like speaking much. They are more into listening and thinking and that doesn't make them shy or less confident. It's just this is how they are. Introverts mostly talk when the topic is something that they personally like or they have knowledge about that topic. She also introduces many successful introverts that are also so good at public speaking and leadership like Abraham Lincoln, Mahatma Gandhi, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. There are many CEOs of big companies too like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg and many more. Introverts are the people who they need more alone time and they work their best when they are alone. Most of the innovations happen when people are alone. Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, they are introverts too. Most of the artists are introverts. It's not just that there are only two people, introverts and extroverts. There are also ambiverts who are are a little bit of introvert and little bit of extrovert too. Also, you don't have to put these labels on yourself like introvert, extrovert or ambiverts. These are just personality types. These are just for us to understand other human beings better. Also, the one third of the people that you know are introverts. In fact, most of the people in India or you can say especially East Asian or Southeast Asians, most of the people are introverts. The book also tells so much about introverts like how to raise an introvert child and the environment in which introverts works their best. And the fields in which introverts perform best like writing, innovation, creativity, etc. I don't like rating non-fiction books in general but I just read them too for my personal rating to keep an eye of how much I enjoyed the book. So I have given this book 4 stars. It's just my personal rating. If you really want to understand introvert personality type then you should try this one and if you are an introvert then you should definitely read this book. This book will make you feel understood and also help you understand yourself. Even if you don't read non-fiction books you can still read this book because this is interesting and very easy to read. Being an introvert myself, I can relate to this book. Susan Ken has really put what introverts feel in words and remember saying that I'm an introvert doesn't mean that I'm labeling myself as an introvert. I'm just saying because I'm more introvert than extrovert and that doesn't mean that I go on internet and relate to all the stuff they write about introverts because also not all introverts are same so I can relate to some of the introverted things and also not. In the book, Susan Ken has just explained how introverts can do the same thing that extroverts do. The book is not talking bad about extroverts. It just says people should nurture both the personality types and both are unique and has their own positives. So this was my review on the book Quiet The Power of Introverts by Suzanne Ken and I hope you found this video helpful and if you have read this book or have any suggestions then do let me know that in the comment section. So this is my book blog and Instagram. I'll also give link in the description so do check them out and see you in the next video. Till then stay safe, stay healthy and bye-bye.